Welcome to an uh, introduction to game-based computer programming. Uh, for this course, we're going to be using Adobe Flash Professional, um, Creative Suites 5.5. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the uh, some of the work environment uh, that exists in Adobe Flash Professional. So wait a second for it to open. Uh, we'll be doing uh, some simple computer animation, um, and then we'll start programming with ActionScript 3.0. So five main parts of the uh, of the Flash user interface um, are we're going to use ActionScript 3.0. And I uh, have it set up for the uh, classic workspace. When you open up yours, it might already be on Essentials, but I like to use classic. Um, we have the stage area, which is this whole area. And we could uh, we can see that in our properties uh, box, property inspectors box over here, uh, we can change the stage color, uh, any, any color we'd like. Um, we'll leave it at white right now. Uh, we could change the size of the stage. It's uh, width, right? We could change it to uh, 800 if we're creating a flash environment for uh, widescreen laptops. Uh, 600 pixels, be a little bit larger. Move this back and forth, so so we're able to see our uh, our stage. Uh, this whole area is the stage here. Uh, FPS stands for frames per second. Uh, we're using ActionScript 3.0, but we could change it to ActionScript 1 or ActionScript 3.2.0 uh, if we were doing programming of uh, from from old books uh, that we may be doing later this year. We could even set the uh, Flash player we want to use. Or we'll keep it on. Um, we'll keep it on. Uh, we can have for Android or for uh, iOS, uh, Apple products um, output. Um, but what we're going to be using is just uh, Flash Player 10.2 for now. Um, later on, we can we can create some some web apps for uh, Android uh, cellular devices. Um, so our frames per second. These are our frames over here. This is our timeline, and uh, we have this here, uh, 24 frames uh, per second. Uh, and we also have over here uh, frames per second on our uh, stage properties index. Um, if we insert a frame, we'd have uh, 30 frames. So at every 24 frames, it'll take one second for the Flash player to play these. Uh, we can adjust this. Uh, if we wanted to go a little slower, we can have it at 12 frames per second. You can see it also changes it over here. Um, but for right now, uh, when we do an animation, we'll, we'll use that more. Uh, we're doing some game programming. We'll use these frames more. But for right now, we'll just uh, simply use uh, the one frame. So we'll remove these frames. Um, and I'm going to show you some over here is the toolbar. And I will show you um, some of the some of the things we can do over here in the toolbar. Different tools we have. Right. So uh, all of these uh, selection tools and transform tools will need something to exist first. Um, so let's uh, start with a shape. So we have uh, a, a rectangle or a square, and uh, this is what the inside color will be. Uh, so maybe we're going to red. This is what the outside color will be. We can adjust the the, the actual uh, outline uh, with this. If we want to change uh, this, we can change the color, and then we could use our paint bucket. Uh, tool, and we could put a color inside uh, something that is outlined, an enclosed area. We can also change our uh, outside color. So if we want the other outside color to be red, uh, we can change this to an ink bottle. And then when we change that, we can change the scale of it and make it larger. We can make it smaller. Uh, we can have solid lines, or we could have uh, dashed lines, right? Uh, we can change the scale on that. We can see that there's uh, dashed lines there. 
Um, we can have dotted lines. We can have ragged lines that look like scribbles. Uh, we can have uh, stippled lines, which are kind of like spray paint dots. And we could have hatched, which are uh, kind of like hatch marks, uh, lines going in ways. Instead of instead of having uh, having our um, dash lines, we have the lines uh, up and down, vertical, horizontal. Um, we're perpendicular to our our square. So uh, some other shapes we can do. Let's move this back to solid. Uh, some other shapes we can do is we can do a, a circle or an oval. Right, so here it's a circle. We can see this little circle on our crosshairs, and now it's an oval when that circle disappears. So we know it's a perfect circle when that when that bold circle appears in our crosshairs, and we can create ovals in any direction uh, like this. Uh, we can also create what's called a uh, primitive rectangle tool, and what that does is it allows us to. Uh, to do different uh, things later when we uh, have our selection tools. Same thing with a uh, primitive circle. We can adjust this later uh, with our selection tools. And um, there's the polystar tool. So we have a polygon, and the default is a pentagon shape. But under our options here, uh, we can change it to, say, 12-sided. Uh, We can make a triangle if we change it to three-sided. And uh, we can turn it into stars. So if we want a typical five-point star, uh, we can have five points and change it from polygon to star. And we can have a typical five-point star. Or we can have three-point stars. Or uh, 12 point stars. And then we can adjust uh, the point size. So if we have point 0.1, you'll see it's very pointy. And uh, the higher the number, the closer we get to our original, let's change it to 1. The closer we get to our regular polygon shape, so these are these are basic things uh, that we can create uh, with our shapes that are pre-made. Um, but then there's our our pencil tool, and uh, pencil tool can be used to make lines, and those lines can be straight. Or under our options here, uh, this was straightened. We can uh, smooth it so it could be nice and curvy, right? Or we can select uh, ink, which is close to uh, pointy, what we have. So this one has nice uh, curved images, and this one here has uh, pointy images. And uh, under we have our paintbrush, and our uh, paintbrush, uh, we can pick, uh, well, you pick a color for the paint fill. Uh, so let's pick a new color. Let's pick uh, green. So we have green paint. And uh, we have our different, we have normal fills, which is if I paint on something, uh, oops, go paint. Paint normal should paint right across everything. All right, like that. Um, oh, this one, uh, that's right. So normal paint paints uh, across everything, and paint fills will only paint oh sure don't. oh it won't paint across the uh, the lines that we create. So you can see that the red line is above it, and it fills the blank, but it won't it won't go through. So if I do something like this, you'll see that the star is in front of it because the lines are there, but it will change in the center part. Uh, we have paint behind, which uh, goes behind the items. So 
So you see it's it's not here, it's it's on the other side. Um, and then we have paint inside, oops, which goes inside. If you put inside a box, it only paints inside, but doesn't paint outside. Right? If I paint outside, it only stays outside. So it paints in its environment that you start the stroke in. It doesn't uh, and doesn't go into any other any other environment. Um, so that's our paintbrush tools. Let's look at. Uh, we have a pattern, uh, so we can have right now it says vine fill. And if I go like this, I got a paintbrush. It fills an area with uh, with that. Um, I can change this to a paintbrush. Let's see. We have, um, all right, so we can change this to all different uh, lightning. Put lightning inside here. Let's see. Oh, here you go. So you see the lightning cut across. So you can change the color of the lightning to uh, green. You can see it shoots out of my area. Um, and then there's all kinds of cool effects that you can you can pick over here: flowers, flames, uh, animations, uh, smoke, tree, brush. All those things you can add on there. You can look at that yourself in your spare time. And then we have the time the line tool. And the line makes uh, straight lines. Right, let's pick. Uh, Let's pick a new color for that, purple. We'll make a line here. So lines make straight lines in any direction that you do it. And uh, we have a pen tool. And the pen tool allows you to, uh, to modify uh, different paintbrush strokes. Uh, it also allows you to, to draw lines and to bend them modify them in different ways uh, like that by pulling on these points, these pivot points. Um, so now let's look at our selection tools. So we have our selection tool which allows us to uh, select different things um, with this special, uh, it's our uh, primitive tool in our oval primitive tool with the square when we have our selection tool we can uh, round the corners all right uh, we can also do that simply through our options all right we can uh, we can round our corners um, on the side um, we also have the ability with a selection tool to uh, make things curvy all right to pull them out uh, to change the shape from a square to uh, all different shapes by pulling on it or pulling things apart. You can select uh, different pieces and move them around, or you can select entire areas and pull them in different directions. Um, you can select a whole object and move it from one place to another. You can split areas. Um, this was our primitive uh, tool here. We can we can put a center circle, make like a circle inside a circle. Uh, we can make this into pieces, dissect it. That's our primitive oval tool. Um, and we can also make lines longer. Right? We can bend them out. We can connect them from one point to another point. Right? Take this one, and then you can connect these together. And you can put them in, in all different directions. And then there's also there's an eraser tool. You can you can erase things that you want to get rid of. Uh, and once again, what we want to do here is we want a normal eraser. And then you can just you can just start erasing everything that you see. Um, Certain things won't erase. You have to select those and cut them, like our primitive tool. Cut. Cut. 
All right, so uh, we can get rid of all this stuff. Start with a clean, start with a clean palette. All right, so um, that's a that's a little bit about the tools over here. There's a couple others uh, that I haven't shown yet, but we'll use those as we go through our uh, different different um, games and animations. So right there was uh, just a basic uh, look at what the Flash environment is all about. Next video we will start creating a drawing, and then we will uh, create an animation.